Greetings everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the Super Nintendo, or the SNES if you will, and we're playing a racing game, hooray for that. It's Test Drive 2, Test drive two. that's what I just said. Oh, Test Drive 2, the duel actually, she didn't say that did she? Well anyway, it's a game that I was, uh, well, obsessed with on the Commodore Amiga back in 1989, but the console versions play a little bit different to the computer versions. We already viewed this on the Mega Drive, and I think this version tries to be a bit like that one. In the original Test Drive, you uh, Test Drive 2 I should say, you had a choice of Ferrari F40 or the Porsche 959 and the computer took the other car. Uh, we'll keep this on Rookie I think for automatic gears. Uh, there's, on the uh, Amiga version there's one scenery disc and then you, there's two additional ones you could buy, California and um, European. This has got four. Um, different ones which come to a minute and it gives you an extra car as well which is the Lamborghini Diablo so that's thrown into the mix let's race from A to B over different stages not cr uh, crashing more than a number of times and try and beat your opponent as well and the police will be about so I think we'll take the Porsche 959 out this time normally you'd race the Ferrari F40 but I think we'll race the, the Diablo so it's four different bits it's desert um, uh, Blast City band abound East Coast and West Coast. Uh, the desert one, which we'll do first of all, is the easiest one, so we'll start off there. I think it's based in the US Southwest. City bound, um, I think Mount Rushmore is about. Let's have a look here. Right, okay, so let's get a hang of this. Great engine sounds. Um, if you'd like Test Drive 2 back in the day, it's brilliant. If you didn't, or did, only just come to it now, it's a bit of a, of, of a tough one, but, um, but I love the um, the the dashboard on this and it moves a lot smoother than the Amiga version but that's what I would have expected. Uh, East Coast as I say has got as you go through New England and West Coast it's the US West I think based along Seattle. Right now a bug's just crushed itself on the windscreen. You see on the top there I'm the white uh, block going across on the coast and there's the yellow block there oh as well and um, I think on easy they're quite short courses you can see on the red there on the top bit is that's where the gas station is we're trying to get to as we're chased by the police. So look in the rear view mirror, the police might turn up unless we can outrun them. But I've got a really lot of time for this game. Uh, back in the day I was desperate for more scenery discs on the Commodore Amiga. If I knew these console versions were out, I, well, I would have, I would have found a way to buy a console. Um, those versions, the computer versions didn't have these motorbikes on, which are a bit easier to get round. But I'm loving it, mainly because I've got a big nostalgia kick. For test Drive 2. I don't think Test Drive 1 come out on the SNES or the Sega Mega Drive, but check out the Sega Mega Drive version and from memory, although it's a while since we viewed that one, it's playing quite similar. Oh, there's the gas station. I think we've got miles past the thing. Yeah, on the Amiga version, it gives you two lines you can stop between. Here, you've got to judge it a bit, so I think I may have lost the line there. Here's the fuel station. You run out of gas. Oh, you nincompoopin. Uh, animated uh, the console version when you go to the gas station, that's nice to see and it should give us a summary of the stage. So the Amiga version was out in 1989, this is published by Accolade uh, but it's in 1992. They did all versions but this one is in 1992. Music is the same, love the music. Great stuff, I've got a lot of time for this game, a lot of time for this game. Hooray, I had to come to it. Um, so I reviewed it on the uh, Spectrum, which is struggled quite a bit, uh, the Amiga, Sega Mega Drive and the SNES. Not sure what else it'd come out on. It'd probably come out on PC as well, right? Okay, let's burn this road. So we're sort of like in sort of like green park land. I don't know how I got past that motorbike. It handles okay. You see that white dot there? That represents where I'm steering. I'm not overly impressed with this automatic gear selection. So once you get used to it, it's probably best you put it on Pro to do... Um, manual gears but I'll keep it off those while I'm trying to speak at the same time. Uh, there's a yellow car there, I don't know who they are but we're past them. Frame rate is acceptable, it's good actually, it moves pretty smooth, pretty smooth. See you later motorbiker. Now if you crash into any other cars you get a crashed uh, windscreen and lose a life but if you crash into them on these versions I think on low speed you'll just bounce off them, I think. Right, police are in a hot pursuit. Hopefully it's Roscoe Pico train so we can outdo him. Good stuff. I would recommend tracking this uh, one down. I haven't reviewed too many racing games on the SNES, although the last one we looked at was Super Off-Road, which is pretty cool as well. But a completely different game to this one. Um, the Rookie Mode has given me a bit of a chance beating that Diablo, because he's not going through Super first. 
Before this review is over, it might be a long one being a racing game, so I tend to get a bit uh, into them. Before we go on, we will do the hardest track and see how that compares, which is West Coast. I think that might have different weather conditions uh -oh. on as well. Uh-oh. Right, the gas station's going to be a long air stop. Did we get in in time? We, we... No, up. I'm not sure we got in on time. It was a bit close. Do, 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 do. What's the matter? Couldn't find the brakes. You had a clean run. Well, we did. We did uh, get through on time. We're at less uh, filling Petro Town. I could find the brakes. So we're practically taking the Mickey out of me. I, I was a bit. I was a bit long, but I found it. So we're versus our opponent. He, um, his average was 100. We was 113. We're all over him. We got good points. Go, go, go. Floor it, big nose. Next stage, I'm not sure how many stages this one has got, but they're quite sure, as I say. That petrol station bit is a bit further along the uh, top in later ones. So we're in the desert now, but the road is exactly the same. It's just the horizon and the colours either side. We'd like to get up in the mountains at some point. Uh, oops, oh dear, I thought we could get round that by it. So that's what happens if you have a crash. We hit it and span. You span like a wally. The Diablo should go straight past, shouldn't it? Let's pass, so now we've got to go past him. I'm getting a real strong, that car in front, I'm getting a real strong retro buzz from this. Loving it, 1992. It's playing like a game from 89, but anyway, don't worry about that. I'm loving it, he's loving it. It's the engine sounds as well. I'm not sure how close this is to a Porsche 959. We'll take out the Ferrari next time, um, see how differently that sounds. The Commodore Amiga, I um, have reviewed that a few times actually. Um, but uh, did have some extra car discs as well. You could have the supercars, which had that Lamborghini Diablo on, Corvette ZR1, Ferrari Testarossa, and Lotus um, um, Esprit, to name a few. I also had the muscle cars, which were a bit slower, uh, but that was good fun as well. I didn't own the muscle cars. Oh, but I, I've, I've used it since. Right, come on, let's go. This moves quicker than the Amiga version, only because of the frame rate, I guess. Beating that Lamborghini Diablo, so it eases you in quite well. It's good to have the difficulty uh, at levels there. Easy is not going to cause you too much of a problem with automatic gears. As soon as you get used to the uh, handling, I think you can get into this one quite well. Uh, additional speech on this one as well. Uh oh. Well, I think we've outrun them. He said, "Yeah, slow it." We're a bit closer than last time, I think. I'm not sure if you can lose any gears on the Amiga version or computer version. You could lose a gear by going over rocks. Cars left three, time to crash one. Game over, man, game over. Laughing gas, tee hee, tee hee. Oh ho, well that's, that's the joke. That, that must keep them going all day out in this uh, desert. Top speed, 167. Average speed for this section, 96. Well, yeah. D, 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 D. Go, go, go. Right, in the desert again. Kind of too many stages left. I'm going to beat my opponent here. So test drive two, the duel. The duel being your race against your computer opponent. By putting up the difficulty levels, whether you're rookie or pro, it would dictate the amount of traffic on the on the road and how quickly the police go. If the police catch you, you will get a uh, speeding ticket, which hopefully that happens before the review is over, so I can show you all of the uh, stuff it has to offer. Oh, that's whoa! Yeah, collision detection is a bit better here. You've got some space to go around. The Amiga, you have to leave a bit of a wide uh, room around stuff. Quick, without run that police car. Well, you might have seen these radar. There's a lot of motorbikes in this place. Oops! Oh, cool. Almost got to a zero there. Check out your revs, you can, uh, well it's impossible to do it in automatic, but you can over rev the car, if you're not changing the gears properly. By doing manual gears the car can go quicker, because the uh, automatic gear selection, especially when you're slowing down, is not overly clever here yeah, around that thing. I think we might have run that bike over. Now there's not a budgetary guard in the car, it's the police uh, speedo detector. Uh -oh. And here they come. Should be our outrunner. See on the top there, there's a white block, I'm going to be chased by another white block, that's the police. I've outrun them, have I? I can still hear them just about. Yeah, Lamborghini Diablo is there, a little bit behind. So it takes your time at the end, adds 20 seconds on for each crash, or if you um, run out of fuel, don't stop in time, it will add uh, time on for that 20 seconds. Fill her up. Fill her up. Big nose. 
and I'm glad they kept the music the same on this. So it's essentially same graphics really, more or less, different frame rate, uh, different stages, with an extra car. Music is exactly the same. Opponent 159, mine 156, I have thrashed him, and I'm, I'm winning the race. Bom, 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 bom. Next up, what's the next, what's the next route? Desert again, this might very well be the last stage here. It doesn't tell you what distance you need to go, the computer versions did, but instead they've gone for that graphic, a bit narrower this track, instead they've gone for that uh, red graphic up the top there of the fuel station. Oh! Yeah, I, oh that's interesting, so it was a wide, wide road before, now it's got real narrow. Can risk going in the other lane as I'm doing here, but there might be oncoming traffic ready to smash you up. I'm going to smash you up. Room, room, room. Did you own this back in the day on the Amiga or any other versions? So, from owning the Amiga version, I was obsessed with them coming uh, to this. It's an absolute delight. Like the Mega Drive as well. Can't remember if that had the speech in that. I'm sure it must have done. Yeah, we outrun them. Good, good. Nice, nice rear view mirror as well. So the, the Super Nintendo is really doing uh, well here. Completely good to see these cockpit style games outside the arcadey ones like um, Super Mario. So good there. Because I'm not overly familiar with the Super Nintendo still. I'm just gradually learning from game to game. I'm not sure. Whoops. I'm not sure what other um, cockpit type games there were. If you know, let me know. But um, yeah, great, great graphics on the interior, isn't it? Really great graphics. More than acceptable. A good game, a good game. So just recapping then, your choice of cars are the Porsche 959, which I'm in, Ferrari F40 if you're a Ferrari fan, or the Lamborghini Diablo, which is an additional uh, car on this. Can't change the uh, colour of the car, no option for that, so just white for the Porsche, red for the Ferrari, or yellow for the Lamborghini Diablo. I think in uh, the Amiga version, the supercars, the Lamborghini Diablo, I think that was uh, like a dark reddish colour. Lotus was black. I might have to deliberately slow down so the police can catch us up. Oh, they're not going to catch us now. We'll get into this petrol station. Boom! Fill her up. Fill her up. Do, 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 do. No two player on this, it's just one player. But we were good in two player. Two cars left, one time's crashed. Press any button, not your belly button, because that won't work. It went up work. If you're enjoying the channel, if you watch this far in, it's been a rather quick 12 minutes. Uh, if you think that's a quick 12 minutes, it might mean that you like the channel, so please consider subscribing so you don't miss any videos that go up. Oh, it's the end. Um, yeah. You're busted. I'm busted, oh no, that's, uh, yeah. So, we're at Gasolinas at the last stage, and we've been arrested anyway for a whole heap of stuff. Oh, I like that, that's good. So, you know. Stage one is um, the easy level is a good introduction. We'll jump right over those other levels, I think. Now take out the Ferrari, be rude not to, and we'll have a go at the West Coast, which is the US West. I think uh, driving across like Seattle, I think, or besides Seattle. Uh, we won't do uh, pro, I don't think. Um, we'll... Yeah, because it make it make it a little bit bit harder to um, say what's going on. There's the horn there. I didn't try that before. Maybe I should try that. Yeah, but uh, also shift. La 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 la. Only because I don't want to mix up. I want to. I want to describe what's going on. I don't want to mix up the gears. There's a the Ferrari F40, two hundred sixty thousand dollars back in 1992. If you've got that in your bank account, I I haven't. I haven't got that. Right there we go. West Coast. It's the hardest. It's the hardest. That means it's really got the tightest bends. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, we've got weather conditions. Now the Amiga version did not have weather conditions. It's gonna, it's gonna, whoa, it's gonna make it a bit slippery. My opponent's off. Is this how a Ferrari sounds? I watch I don't crash into this 959, my opponent. Yeah, it's, it's sliding around a bit. Traction to the road is tricky. Yeah, we lost a little bit of speed there. I think I prefer driving the Porsche, but it might be just because of the weather conditions. Sounds a bit quieter, this Porsche car. Uh, no, this Ferrari car, I should say. If you own a Ferrari F40, then you big show off. Comment below. There's a Ferrari F50 as well. I'm not sure what the difference is between those two, apart from the number. Wouldn't like to be on a motorbike in this weather. It's a little bit dangerous. Now, we've got four lanes here. Uh, there's not much traffic coming in the opposite direction, so I probably can uh, do quicker by just staying in the middle. Police is after us again. Are they going to catch us this turn? 
Well, they might be quicker this time, so we're on a different um, uh, difficulty. They're going to get us. You can see it in the rear view mirror. I'm not sure it's a police car or a UFO or an ice cream van, but they're going to get us. There they are. Don't want to crash into it, so I've come to a stop. We're going to get a ticket. How fast do you reckon we went? They're reversing into us. I don't like the look of this. On PC uh. versions, if you crash into them, it's game over. Oh, you got out the car. That's interesting. Oh, we've been sticketed. 118 miles per hour. Well, oh, fair enough. The ticket looks the same on all versions. Might be a different colour. I think the other versions are orange. That's white. Right. So, is that... What are those... The horizon, it's supposed to be something of Seattle. What's that? It looks like the Titanic. Round that green car. See you later, green car. If that was you, wave out the window. It's a drizzly day. If you're out there, um, I'll get put out your umbrella. I wonder if this weather conditions are going to uh, stay the same through everything. But I am, miss I am missing the mountains. If the mountain stage is in there somewhere, please comment uh, in the comment section. It might be on the city bound, perhaps, with the Mount Rushmore bit. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. And uh, it did have a good tunnel as well, the computer versions. I'm wanting a tunnel. I could, uh, if I had the day available, which I don't, I never have days available, but uh, I, I would quite l happily spend all day on this, doing all the different courses to see what is there. Right, the police are there again. Let's try and, try and stay in the middle uh, without slipping and sliding. We don't want to lose too much traction. So we'll lose a bit of speed, or we lost a bit there. We want to outrun, oh, we jumped a bit there. We want to outrun the police car. I mean, I mean, how? What type of police car is that? It's catching up a Ferrari F40. Might like run into there. I don't know if the police car can crash in these versions, but they're almost alongside us. Don't know where the Porsche car is. They might have finished the race already. Oh, come on! We must be out of running. We're really speeding. What's that speedo say? 250. Oops. Oh, I'm going to lose it down that tight corner. Yet yeah, they're coming round. I mean, that, that, that police car is super fast. I want to own one of them. Get me a that police car. It's like a Mercedes with a rocket on it, I suppose. Here they come. What speed are we doing there? On average. Here he comes. It's Officer Doofus. 120. Well, I think I might have been going quicker than that. It certainly felt like it. He should have let me off. It is raining. Notice, notice now when it's raining we're getting no bugs on the windscreen. It's pretty. It's good that none of this water's hit, hit in the windscreen because we've got no windscreen wipers. Yeah, now that would have been good, wouldn't it? If they're going to do rain, do windscreen wipers. They could have done that. Toyota Sleeker GT Rally on the Amiga had windscreen wipers. I'm sure they could have done it here. Yeah, rain without windscreen wipers. Very weird. But it is affecting the handling of the car as we're sliding all over the shop on that yellow line there. No, no parking. I, I, it'd be good if there was an option to do the, ride the motorbike as well. Now you can see that the stages are longer. We're coming up to the petrol station there. You can see just on the bottom of my mirror here. So this is the longest the stages can be. We're going to survive. We're going to survive. I think we'll do one last... Oh, there's a Porsche. Fill her up. Fill her up. And let's see how we did. We're at the petrol station. Give us some gas. Nice looking car, that. I prefer it a bit of a redder red number of tickets too. We'll just do one last stage on this one. As I say, not supposed to be a walkthrough or play for anything like that. It's just supposed to be, uh, uh, yeah, how you'd found the go, game in the first or second go. Uh, have a bit of a laugh and, um, yeah, easing a bit of stress really. Easing a bit of stress. Oh, it's snowing. Very, oh, it's like Christmas card snowflakes, isn't it? Right, this is going to affect the handling as well. I'm loving this game. Great stuff. Great stuff. I don't think it would have scored very well back in the day. I mean, I'm, I'm uh, looking at it from a personal nostalgia point of view, so I'm adding super bonus points on for nostalgia, which I'm getting in heaps. I haven't played the game on other systems beforehand. I like that hooter. Have you got a good hooter? Then comment below. No, actually, that's going to get me into uh, trouble. Yeah, so I'm, I'm liking it, but the reviewers might not have liked it back in the day compared to what others available. It's not really a game, I might be wrong, it's not really a game that people would have bought the Super Nintendo for, that crowd and what games they had before on the NES. But uh, yeah, for an Amiga aficionado who wanted to try out the system, it's an absolute, oh well, it's a beauty for me. Great stuff. You get games like that, don't you really? But they try it out on other systems. It doesn't seem like it really should belong there, but you're glad it's there because it just adds a bit of variety or a bit of extra from the version of the game that you played. Right, the police are after us again. They're always after us. Have they got anything better to do? I'm not sure how much they get. Um, oh, look at that. He's shot across. 
Surely I'm going to have to pull across, yeah. Right, okay. I reckon I went... I won't go in that fast then. I reckon 101. What's your prediction? 101 for me. Higher or lower? 101. What are you going to say? You're going to say... Here he comes. It's soon to be revealed. 106. Well, that's five miles an hour out. If you if you got closer than me, then well done you. Brag in the comment section below. Right, come, let's get this car going. Du, 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 du. I, I sometimes... I'm not sure how well it can go. Sometimes I think, should I do a big, long, like, two-hour video and me just rambling, driving about? It wouldn't make, like, a review. It's like a gameplay thing. But I'm not sure how many people will still be there at the end when I just, I'm just driving for no, no apparent reason. Right. Driving home for Christmas. De -de 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 -de. It's nowhere near Christmas, the time recording, but it is snowing here. I notice again there's no windscreen wipers, the snow's not settling, there's no ice on the roads, there's no gritted trucks, there's no snow plows, no one's broken down on the hard shoulder. It's just not happening. It's just it's just affecting the road handling as we slide around that thing on our ice skates. Whoa! The budgery guy is tweeting again. Look at my opponent, they're miles ahead. How have they got that far ahead in such a short space of time? Not a big fan of that, so they've got they've got that skewed a bit wrong. I mean, I, I could have been driving quicker, but there's no way that they could be going almost as twice as quick as me. That's just uh, silly sausage type stuff. Silly sausage. That's pretty. That's pretty heated talk for me. Past that yellow car again. There's a lot of them on the road. I'm finding this quite calming, you know. Oh, I've hit the air. There is a cheat for this where you can jump whenever you want. Bit of undulation on this one, on this stage at least. Yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Look at the speed of this thing. It's flying. If I if I'd seen this back in 1989, back in the day when I was playing the Amiga version, I would have I would have bought a Super Nintendo just for this game. Crazy stuff. I didn't know I didn't know it came out on it. Hmm. I'll have to play the Mega Drive version soon as well again. I do like a good racing game. Whoa! Oh, he, he said whoa as well. We both said whoa. Look, I do the commentating here, Mister. We're still on the road. I'd love to see a rally car inversion of this for this engine. That'd be quite quite great. Round, uh, we'll get past that that turquoise car. Turquoise is an odd colour for a car. Oh, God, dear me. We must clip wind mirrors there, surely. Good. Hug on the inside. The police are after us again. The signs of the petrol station. Can we get there before getting another um, speeding ticket ahead? You're not going to get us. Oh, he's going to get us. Is he? Surely we can just stop here. Oh, we crashed into our opponent who's been parked there for some time. He's camouflaged against the snow. Oh, right, we need to get in there. Right, OK. Thank you, Mr Arrow. So the petrol um, nozzle would um, reach, or the gas nozzle. Fill her up. Fill her up, fill her up, fill her up. Go faster, it's only a game. Ah, what? It's taking the mickey out of me now. The Fuel on the Hill is the name of that gas station. Yeah, I think this is a lovely game. It's certainly one I'll come back to if I can um, fill in the time. Uh, so I think we will leave that one there. It was snowing again. Yeah, so lots of different levels. I really like it, as you, as you know, races well. So I hope you like having a look at that one. That was Test Drive 2 on the Super Nintendo, or SNES if you will, The Duel, published by Accolade in 1992. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, racing games, or anything retro, then please put that in the comment section below. Always love reading your comments, and it's nice hearing what you think about the games as well. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.